So before I start this video off today, I have a pretty big announcement. You guys can finally buy your very own first day fishing t-shirt. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for a very, very long time where you can get a shirt, when you can get a shirt, all that. And yeah, man, it is just super exciting. So on the website, there are two different options. The first option is the OG first day fishing t-shirt. Basically has the first day fishing logo and the logo on the back. Basically, it is the shirt that you guys have seen me wear in all of my videos. The second option is the classic first day fishing shirt, which is very similar to the OG. However, there is no design on the back. Therefore, it is a bit cheaper for all of you guys asking asking for like, you know, cheaper t-shirts and all that. So yeah, guys, if you want to scoop one up, definitely head over to firstdayfishing.com. Every t-shirt that is sold helps out the channel. And if you do decide to scoop one up, definitely tag me on Instagram. That is just going to be so cool to see all you guys wearing the shirts. So yeah, man, t-shirts on the site. First link in the description. So I'm going to tell you guys kind of what's going down today. But before that, the other day, as I did told you guys, I was going back out for stripers on the surf with Extreme Philly Fishing and Dave from Simplex Fishing. Well, basically the whole striper thing did not really work out too well. However, I did end up hooking with a brand new species it was pretty cool man i never caught the species before ever let me show you guys the footage from that right now oh what the heck Yo, fish on. What the heck? Yo, what the heck? Let's go. What the heck is this? All right, first fish of the day. This looks like some kind of, is this a sundial right here? That's a sundial right there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah. See, man, it's a teaser, man. Oh, what happened to the tail, man? Yeah, yeah, tail. yeah, it doesn't have one, it looks like. The tail got bitten off by a bluefish. I'll good. take a few, all right? Yeah, great, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, one more, one more shot, one more shot. Let me hook him real quick. There we go. That is the first fish of the freaking day, man. That's my first sundial ever, I think. All right, that's sick. Let's get this thing right back into the water. Oh. Is he good? Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. It's just, it's dude, he blends like right in. Yeah, dude, look, he's still here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's sick. It literally dude. blends right to the bottom. Yeah, dude. Whew. All right, guys, well, that is definitely interesting. I was not expecting to catch that. I've been trying to catch a striper all day. The only person so far who's actually caught stripers is Leo. He ended up somehow catching four of them. But let me just show you guys, like, this is why I love fishing salt water, just like fishing at the beach so much. So let me show you guys pan over here. That is just like so beautiful. As you guys see, Leo is over there, Extreme Philly fishing, and there's Dave Simplex fishing. And I mean, this beach is just like, I, I don't know, man. The water is clear. It's just, it just feels good. It's just awesome scenery to be out here. I mean, we've been casting all day, no strapers, but I mean, at least I got a fish. I did not get skunked out here. That is like probably the one thing I did not want to happen today. Yeah, man, life is good. Hopefully I can hook up on a striper. So as you guys can see, that was actually pretty sick. That was the only fish that I caught that day, but I was just happy to not get skunked. There is nothing worse than getting skunked, especially when you drive like four hours in one day to try to catch some fish. Either way, man, as you guys can see, we are currently at a river. I have two rods in the water and we are gonna be soaking bait. And today, man, we're gonna try to catch some river monsters. Pretty much what I'm using here is just like a slip sinker setup. I have a pyramid sinker. It is like two ounces, I'm pretty sure. Then that is attached to a swivel right there, as you guys can probably see. And then that is attached to a leader, which is attached to a hook. And then on the hook, I'm actually using some beef liver. I'll show you guys this right here. This is like absolutely disgusting. The tide is pretty low. I mean, it's been going out for a while now. It's probably uh, approaching slack tide. Oh, definitely a bite right there. Please tell me the fish is on here. Oh yeah, fish on. Come here. That's gotta be a fish on there. Oh yeah, that feels good. Let's go. Ah, come here, buddy. What do I have on here? Is that a catfish? Oh man, that is a nice fish right there. Alright, alright, alright. Right, I'm gonna try to walk this guy down here. By the way, I would not suggest um, fishing anywhere like I'm currently fishing right now. This is a... I don't know how to explain it. This is pretty freaking sketchy right here. This is like an old abandoned building type thing oh that is a decent fish right there are you know what i don't think it's too big that it's going to snap my line if i try to get it up here first fish of the day that is a decent channel catfish right there oh man here's a nice view for you guys right there i'm actually going to take a weight on this guy pretty quickly he actually feels yeah he feels pretty good all right so this is 2.62 so about two and a half pounder definitely pretty decent for our first fish of the day all right guys so there you go first fish of the day that is just a beautiful catfish right there man nice way to start the day i mean i have been fishing all day i'll talk about that in a little bit but yeah man this is a new spot i've never tried this before and yeah look at this fish man that is just awesome feeling definitely better than the bluegills i've been catching recently i'm just gonna throw this guy back from here he should be all right 
All right, yeah, he swam off right there. Let's go, man. Whew. Oh my gosh, that is such a good feeling. All right, so basically I've been out fishing all day. I've been uh, at a different spot. I was pretty much just going for all types of fish, but unfortunately I did not catch anything that was for like hours. Just got a bite on this. Oh yeah, that is a fish right there. Oh, oh man, this is fighting good. This one almost freaking tipped the rod over. This is on a little bit of a lighter setup than my first one. Oh man, this is just, oh. You gotta love fighting these catfish, man. These things just fight so good. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, he's out there. Jeez. This has to be a little bit, oh man, this has to be a little bit of a bigger one than the first one was. Only question is how am I gonna land this guy? The last one was a little bit of a struggle to land. All right, down. Oh yeah, let me jump down here. Oh, that was a little sketchy. Right, let's keep him out of this brush pile right there. Oh my gosh, guys, let me tell you, fighting these catfish. Oh, there he is on top. Oh yeah, that's a little bit bigger than the other one. Holy crap, that is a fat catfish right there. Let's take him up and get him measured. Oh my god. Holy crap, guys, that is a freaking toad right there. I gotta get a weight on this guy. Check this out, guys. Now that is a nice fish right there. And remember, this is at a wide angle view, so I mean probably even bigger in person but man does that freaking feel good right there let me take the hook out and get a measurement really quick all right y'all here we go take your guesses right now how much you think this guy weighs it says 5.34 so over five pounds man that is a decent catfish right there so stoked that we just caught that guy that is literally just so awesome let's release this guy nicely can you guys just see like the freaking stomach on this dude like this guy is fat he has been eating very well all right are you good to go man this is just a big oh Yep, splash me. <laughs> Look at that fish, man. That is just so sick. Going back into the water. Oh, man. That just completely made my day. I'm just, like, so happy right now. Let's get some more, man. As you guys can see, the sun is, like, on its way down a little bit. We still got some time here to catch some fish. I'll get another bite here. Definitely get another bite. Oh, yeah, we got fish on. All of a sudden, man, once the sun started going down, there we go. Third one of the day, man. This is just back to back to back action. Boom, there we go guys, another nice little catfish. I'm just having way too much fun with this. Guys, definitely let me know if you guys would like to see me do some more catfishing. Maybe some catfishing challenges. Maybe trying to go for some other species of catfish. Maybe just trying to find the biggest catfish I can find, man. I just feel like there's so much cool stuff we could do with catfish. I mean, as you guys should know by now, all suggestions are definitely very welcome in the comments section below. It is starting to get a bit darker out here. Hopefully, I can get bit at least one more time. And then I'm probably going to get out of here. I need to eat some food, man. I've not eaten like all day. That is a fish. Guys, let me know if you guys can see like anything right now. Cause it's like pretty dark outside, but I'm trying out this new little setup I got. Always oh, on the top. Come here, buddy. That is a good question. Is this another species of fish right here? This might be some kind of bullhead. I have no clue actually. So uh, in the comments below, definitely let me know. Huh, definitely interesting. Pretty cool. But as you guys can see, man, this dude has a freaking fat belly. This dude's been chomping. I'm thinking that is a new species for the day. I'm pretty sure it is. Either way, man, let's let this guy go right here. All right, guys, I just caught another one of these. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm, like, 90% sure this has got to be a little bullhead right here. I'm not sure if it is a brown or a yellow bullhead. So that's pretty sick, man. We're catching different species here. I'm going to let him go really quick. Yeah, man, this is just sick. All right, y'all, I am now home. That was cool. That was fun. I definitely liked that. I just got done editing this video, and I'm not going to lie, man. I was not expecting it to be this way, but I like how it turned out, you know? By the way, just so you guys know, there were, like, so many other fish that I caught that I did not put in this video. Pretty much just, like, a bunch more channel catfish. I didn't want to be too repetitive and just, like, keep catching channel catfish after channel catfish, you know? I didn't want to bore you guys. And by the way, you guys probably know this, but I'm not really a big cat fisherman. Like, I don't really go catfishing. I think I've honestly only been, like, one or two other times. So that might need to change. And I know there's going to be people in the comments below saying like, oh, I catch 50 pound catfish, 100 pound catfish. That is awesome, man. I hope to catch those fish one day as well. I was just really excited about that five pounder when I went back and watched the footage, man. Like you could tell how excited I was. So although it might not be the biggest catfish in the world, that is definitely the biggest catfish that I've ever caught. So just cut me some slack, man. Hopefully one day I will get on the giant, giant, giant catfish. But yeah, I would definitely say that it was a successful day. It feels good to actually catch some fish. Just a reminder, in case you forgot from earlier in the video, first, 
Thursday fishing shirts are for sale. It should be the first link in the description. Everybody who follows me on Instagram was actually notified about this a day before. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely get on that if you would like to. Thank you so much to everybody who's already buying shirts, man. It's just gonna be so sick when you guys start sending me pictures. And if I actually see you out in public with a shirt, like that is just gonna be so crazy. But yeah, guys, link in the description for the t-shirts. Also, definitely don't forget if you do have any suggestions for me for future videos, put them down in the comments below. Other than that, man, I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. It definitely felt really, really good to catch that many fish. So that is pretty much gonna be it for this video today. Again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm still having so much fun making these videos, man. So let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video.